it's Paul Check again. Hey, welcome back to What is Organics. Today we're doing part four. The topic is the vitamin complex. Today we're going to look at something that uh, might be a bit interesting and shocking for a lot of you, but it's the truth, so I need to share. It makes me feel good to share what I know to be true after uh, 29 plus years of coaching people from... Uh, feeling tired and run down and sick and diseased to healthy and uh, from uh, moderate to awesome athletic performance. So there's a little practice involved in here, not just a bunch of book stuff. So in part three, I took you on a quick review of part two, talked about the functions of the rhizosphere or root space, and I informed you that the microorganisms and the consciousness of the plants work together to provide and that all that we need in our human body is available as proteins, hormones, vitamins, minerals, trace minerals, enzymes, cofactors, fats, oils, carbs, sugars, and probably many things we don't know about yet in the root space of the plants and that if you damage the microorganism population in any way you're going to damage the capacity to produce nutrition in the plants and I stated that if you eat malnourished plants, you get sick. If you eat animals that eat sick plants, you get sick. Which brings us up to today. So here we are talking about the vitamin complex. Now, just so you don't think this is just me all by myself, here are some resources for you that it's very, very good reading. First of all, Royal Lee was a nutritional genius, and this is a set of his lectures. You can also get something like 30 hours of his lectures on audio CD. I wouldn't recommend it if you don't have a pretty deep knowledge of nutritional science or you'll just hear a bunch of $10 words, but it's very good. Um, Royal Lee was a genius and inventor. He started the company now known as Standard Process Laboratories. He's been around for a long time making super high quality nutritional supplements, which are largely used by medical practitioners. These two books by Judith DeCava, who was a student of Royal Lee's, The Real Truth About Vitamins and Antioxidants, is a very important book for everyone to read. And Good Foods, Bad Foods, also by Judith DeCava, is another excellent book that I highly recommend. Both of these books I just showed you are publicly palatable, uh, whereas the lecture of Royal Lee will be a bit heavy duty. Now, here's what Royal Lee taught us, and this is what I've found to be very true from clinical observations and discussions like this with many excellent practitioners from many walks of life. Royal Lee showed very meticulously and intelligently that in any place in nature, Vitamins do not occur as isolates. There's no such thing as an isolated vitamin. There is no B6 in nature. There's no B1. There's no this or that. No B5. No any of that. Those are all man-made constructs of things that we've cut out, identified, unfortunately put patents on and tried to sell. Royal Lee showed that in nature and all living things, you will find fats, trace minerals, carbs and sugars, or carbs as sugars, enzymes, proteins, nutrient cofactors such as phenolics, terpenes, and alkaloids, vitamins, and minerals. So the vitamin complex is also inclusive of other vitamins. So your B vitamins, for example, could all be working together, not as separate functions. And in any given complex, different vitamins support different functions, even in the real, even relationship to other vitamins. So in other words, vitamins may need vitamins to work better, okay? So when we look at all this, for example, if you take a piece of an orange, all of those factors are there if the orange is organically grown and healthy. Remember, if the soil and the nutrients are not, the soil's damaged and the nutrients not there and the microorganisms are out of balance, you can't get these things in their proper balance and ratio, which is why the plants get sick, which is why, you, why they spray so much chemicals on them, <laughs> which doesn't do a damn thing, just makes things worse. And then they sell you all sorts of stories and they let you get sick so they can sell you more crap pills. 
Okay, so what we see here is that this is a working system. Now you'll notice that I have a clock face in there. Royal Lee did a great job by giving this example. What part of a watch tells time? The whole thing. There's not one part of a watch that's expendable and without that part, you, you can't, without any part of a watch, you don't have a functional watch. If you take the strap off, it's a pain in the ass. If you take the glass off, it gets damaged. Take a spring out or a gear out, it doesn't work. So a watch is a system that is whole. It's a whole on as, a, as, a, as an expression. It's a functional working system. So when you start taking vitamins and, and or excuse me, vitamin complexes and extracting specific vitamins out of them, the truth is you can't really get the vitamin complex because Royal Lee's research showed that it was far, far, far too complex to be reproduced in any laboratory. So they're just making the best shot at it, which is, you know, a calculated guess, so to speak. But what you have then is once you start removing watch parts, here's where it gets very interesting. Royal Lee showed that if you, for example, take uh, 5,000 milligrams of beta carotene, well, 5,000 milligrams of beta carotene takes about six pounds of raw carrots to manufacture. So if you take a, a Joe Weider mega pill, for example, and you're a bodybuilder or you're trying to keep yourself healthy, 5,000 milligrams of beta carotene, your body thinks, holy schmoly, you just ate the whole carrot patch. Now, here's what's important. Your body then has to take and go gather all the necessary fats, trace minerals, carbs, enzymes, proteins, cofactors, other vitamins and minerals to reactivate a vitamin isolate that you've just taken. So what his teachings show and what Judith DeCava shows very nicely is, for example, B6 is classically prescribed for things like uh, carpal tunnel and night blindness. Well, if you go to some GNC or vitamin store and you start piling up B6, what Royal Lee shows is that you actually may get over whatever your initial problem was, but if your body does not have the resources available to rebuild the vitamin complexes, the vitamins are not useful to your system, they're actually stressful to your system. Interestingly, uh, some of my mentors, such as Bill Timmons, have taught me that if your body has more vitamins than it can use, in other words, if you take a big dose of vitamins, your liver has to clear that, just like it was a toxin. If your body doesn't have the resources to put the complex together, you will create other nutritional deficiencies. So all you do is trade one problem for another, which is fantastic for the vitamin manufacturing business because you think you got over one problem, but you don't realize you just created three other ones. So maybe your carpal tunnel feels better and you can see better at night, but now your butt itches and your hair is falling out. Fantastic. And what do they do? They just sell you some more. And it's a perfect little game they got going. It just keeps you forever in the loop. Next, you got to say, ask yourself, where are these products coming from? Again, as I said in the previous section, if the vitamins are coming from the product of commercially raised foods, remember, vitamins are concentrates. So not only are you getting food concentrated, you're getting the pesticides, herbicides, rodenticides, and fungicides, and farming chemicals concentrated. They don't tell you that. So you're now not only getting a poor quality product, a poor quality isolate, you're getting concentrated crap, and you're getting all sorts of stabilizers and other things in there. And if you start doing your research, a lot of these things are toxic to the body. So what do you got? You basically got shit on top of shit on top of shit, and that's a criticism to shit. It is basically a very poorly thought out system and all you got to do to prove this to yourself is go to any nutritional conference in the world any major nutritional conference in the world and when you walk in there and see the people in that conference you will probably be confused you'll think you're at an obesity conference now that's important when I used to train the army boxing team we had to have scheduled visits with the army nutritionist who was a woman about five foot four, 245 pounds. And of course, none of these elite fighters would listen to her. They all brought magazines and just ignored her. Well, I'm telling you all that you should not be taking health advice from people that are sicker than you are. Find people who know how to eat, move, and be healthy. <laughs> and if they're really that smart, 
then the rubber hits the road right here. So in the next presentation of our little mini-series, I'll talk about some tips for finding healthy food near you. So I hope you enjoyed our little presentation today. Thanks for joining me. I'm Paul Check. I'll see you for part four.